Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is a haul from, it's a June haul, but it's from my April and May purchases. And the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the Seasonal Surprise Box by Erin Condren. So I have on and off over the last four years bought the Seasonal Surprise Boxes. And I have found that the spring and summer and the winter I really enjoy. I not really like the fall boxes as well. Um, but I did go ahead and purchase the summer one and I wanna go ahead and share the items in this in case you have not seen it or you were on the fence. So the seasonal surprise box are offered and they're usually up for just a couple days on the Erin Condren site. They retail for $40. The value is over $80 and I believe it's free shipping. So you purchase it and then maybe three weeks later you get the box at your doorstep. So this is the summer surprise box. I apologize in advance if you hear dogs running rapid behind me. Um, I have my daughter's dog and my nephew's dog here right now. So one thing that you get inside the, the um, box is a card and it will tell you whether it is a sneak peek, meaning it's something that's gonna come into the shop soon, whether it is an exclusive to the box and of and the value of the item. So as we go through, I'll let you know is if it's coming into the box, into the store, or if this is exclusive to the box. Um, so the first thing, and I've repurchased many of the pads that I have gotten inside the seasonal surprise boxes. So this is um, the one that came with this box. It says this week's focus, actions, notes, and tracking. So it would be a great pad just to put on your desk to kind of work off of. And this one is, let's see, exclusive to the box and it retails for $10. And then there's a little summer journal. There's usually some kind of either a journal or a bucket list or something like that. Um, what I like about this one is there is a quote about summer. Every summer has a story, but there's nothing in here that is specific to summer. So you could use it as just a regular journal or notebook. And this one is A retail value of $10 and it is exclusive to the box. And then this is a multicolor pen. It has four colors, purple, gray, kind of a raspberry and an orange. This one is let's see, a sneak peek, meaning it will come into the shop and it retails for $8.50. You usually get a cover, so the cover matches the box. This is the summer cover. Um, they are the interchangeable covers for the seven by nine. And this one is exclusive to the box. And it is a value of $8. And then this was the thing I was probably the most excited about. This is a packing cube. Now I am a huge believer in packing cubes. Um, I have a set for every one of my suitcases because if you're traveling and trying to overstuff your suitcase like I like to, packing cubes are the way to go. So they did have an exclusive packing cube in this box. It is a sneak peek, meaning it's coming to the shop, and they put a retail value of $10 on that, which is actually a pretty good price. Um, I think I bought a whole set for $28 or $29. Okay, so this was probably my least favorite thing in the box, just because I don't know that I would use it, but it's a bookmark with a chain. You can definitely use this as a keychain as well. And this one is a beaded bookmark. It's exclusive to the box and it's $8.50. And then you always get um, sticker packs that are usually um, exclusive to the box. Um, this time you got three, so this one is definitely the design on the box, then some different ones that are summer related, and then more of a functional page with some washi, some flags, and some other flags. And these are 
sticker sheet trio. They're exclusive to the box and they retail for $7.50. And then you get three postcards. And then on the back, of course, you could address them and stamp them. And the postcards are $6.50 and they are exclusive to the box. And this is probably the most talked about thing <laughs> in the Erin Condren Facebook group. And this is a silicone pencil case. Um, what is very different about this though is it sits flat. So you could put your pins in there, you're, it won't fold back up again, you don't have to reach in. And then when you're ready to close it, it kind of goes back to a more compact triangle size. And it's kind of a ombre from light to dark in pink. This one is a sneak peek, meaning it's coming to the shop and it six, retails for $16. So that is the seasonal surprise box. Um, I normally like about 80% of the box. I really felt like everything in this box was pretty usable. Um, so I felt like I did receive my $40 worth of items. And I know that um, my niece's kids will always take anything off my hands that I wouldn't use. So um, overall, I feel like it was a great deal. So my next part of my haul is from Cloth and Paper, which if you've seen any of my hauls, it's usually a Cloth and Paper item. What I did was I went ahead and ordered inserts for my pocket planner that I'm in the process of setting up. So I am going to be using the Motrum Deluxe in pink. This is the 30 ml ring, so it's nice and chunky. I did use this as my envelopes for my budget, but it was just too big for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I printed most of the inserts so far. Most of them are either from Peanuts Planner Co., Annie Plans Printable, or Simple and Trendy Co. So I am kind of just in the process of kind of figuring out what I want in this planner. And then of course it will not be this many things in here because right now it's just, um, I have printed the inserts and gone ahead and stuck them in here. So the inserts that I purchased, and I went ahead and opened them all because it, it's, <laughs> If you've ever bought, purchased from Cloth and Paper, their items are very securely packaged and I didn't want to have you watch me struggle to open them. So you get like a little packet in the front. It has the June calendar, it has a journal card, and then it has a card and on the back it has a thank you and a code for your next order. And then what I purchased for my planner is something that I have in every single one of my planners. Um, a5 personal or now pocket is the cloth and paper insert. So on my B6, the cloth and paper sizing on B6 is very different. They're smaller than the Aristel B6 that I have. So I did buy those inserts from Planner Press. So for my pocket, I bought a dashboard. It says I'm the architect of days that haven't happened yet. And it's in a very nice vellum. I bought the page lifter or like a today tab that goes in where I want it to go. But I also use these as a page lifter because they're nice and thick. And then another dashboard and I have this in every single one of my planners. It is only with gratitude that life becomes rich. Then I have the inbox, which I also have in every one of my planners. And I like the Simple and Trendy Co inbox the best. And it has different um, like inbox projects, next, someday, waiting on. So you can take every task that you put on your list and put it onto the page that is appropriate on what step you are in getting that, that task done. And then I ordered two different pockets so I can put some stickers in there. And I cannot remember the names of the one. This one's pink, but this one is something else. And they are kind of a very thick cardstock, and they have a pocket. I do believe these two were in the last call section, meaning they're gonna leave the shop and they'll be replaced with something else. And then I bought two sets of tabs. I bought the top loading tabs, and then I bought the six tab side loading. And I really like these tabs, so you can kind of 
take sections and then put the top tabs in. I usually do it under my scheduling. So I have one for month, one for week, and one for day. So I can easily flip to the insert that I'm looking for. And then I bought one thing for my personal planner. And this insert, um, I had a credit because I had bought some B6 items and then returned them. So I had a credit that I wanted to use up. But I do like this insert. And it says, people romanticize their plans but dread the execution. The magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding. And I feel like sometimes that is just me to a T. So I do love that insert. So that is my order from Cloth and Paper. And put this to the side. I'm excited to set that up. Um, my next order is from Honey Inked. They did a summer spring release. So this is the freebie that came in my order. And then I did put um, Rachel's code in the notes to seller. So I did get Rachel from Gathered Plans freebie. Um, and it is in a very kind of a light gold. It's really pretty. And then what I purchased, um, now I do have the ability to foil my own stickers. So if I couldn't decide what color of foil I wanted, then I went ahead and ordered it in black and I'll just foil it in whatever um, foil I'm using at the time. So um, it's advantage of having a foil in your shop, but then some of them, um, I just wanted to go ahead and get in foiled because I knew that there were colors I would use. So this is my order. So this one is called the tiny metal florals and I just did some florals for myself, um, and foiled them. I may or may not bring them in the shop. I don't know, but I've been really into foils, foiled florals or stems because I just like the way they add to my memory spreads. So this one is the tiny metal florals. This one is tiny sparkles and I got two so I can actually I got three. So I can do silver gold and rose gold or I could do a color or I could leave one of them black and then foil the other two. And then this one is the meadow dividers. So they are kind of a strip divider. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12, so 24 on this page, which I think that's a lot. And I could even foil one side silver, one side gold, you know, depending on what I wanted to do with it. And then this one is the meadow half dividers. These have, um, they're like half the size of the other. I don't know if you can see that. And it's also on clear. I got two of those. And then star clusters. So basically, um, these are great to layer on, you know, either flags or script stickers, anything like that. And I also got them in black on clear. And then on the Mandala trim number one, I got rose gold and gold. And then on this one, this is the lace trim number two, I got gold. And her gold is a very kind of softer gold. And then I got black so I can decide what foil color I want. And then another one of the floral. This one has stems as well as flowers and I got that one black and on clear. So I'm going to have a little bit of fun kind of mixing and matching my metals and see um, how I want to do what colors I decide to go with. And then my next order is from Sadie Stickers. Um, so I have a $2 Tuesday and then two kits. Um, I'm kind of going through my kits right now. I'm doing a, a little bit of a de-stash on Macari with my kits. My planning style from a year and a half ago when I started memory planning to now is very different. So I do like kits that have a lot of boxes. I like foil. I tend to like picture kits versus clip art kits. Um, when when I started, I kind of liked clip arts and for, for, floral kits, but now I'm deciding I really like more picture kits. Um, so 
you know, that's why you shouldn't buy too many kits at one time, but um, we'll see. <laughs> so this is my Sadie sticker order. I did put Lauren's code in, in the notes to seller and used her discount for Lauren 20. This is in rose gold. So you've got some lace dividers, some bow lines, some solid lines, a little bit of the, um, what do they call them? Like swag almost. And then a circle and then a few clusters. And then my order for the $2, the $2 Tuesday was the Daisy Deco in gold, silver, and rose gold. So I did buy one of each color. And then the floral dividers in rose gold, silver, and gold. And then the floral border third boxes. So it's kind of hard to see on this one, but the bottom part of the box and the top part have the foil. And then this is more like a premium mat, so you could write on that. Um, sometimes on the clear, you have to really use a special pen. It's really hard to write. So I did get these in rose gold, silver, and gold. And then on the floral mini circles, same thing. They're on the white premium mat. So you can write in the middle. And I got rose gold, silver, and gold. So one of each. And then on the floral stem deco, I did buy the rose gold, the silver, and the gold. And then these were not, I don't think these were part of the $2 Tuesday. I think these were just in the shop. Oh, maybe they were. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. And I already put my invoice away. So she had floral deco number eight, floral deco number nine, floral trim number nine matches the floral deco. Floral trim number five matches the deco. And then I did buy four of the lace trim dividers in black. And I did go ahead and foil because I wanted to test it. <laughs> um, so I foiled one of the black in the rose gold and it foiled perfectly. So I was pretty sure that all of her black stickers were going to be laser so I could foil them. But then after I purchased them, I was like, maybe not. But yeah, it foiled perfectly. So um, I just wrote a note that this is the rose gold that I have in my shop. Even though, yeah, that's rose gold. Okay, so then I can choose what foils to do on these. And then I bought two kits. Um, she has a little bit of a different kit design than the last time I bought kits from her, which was, God, I think Black Friday was the last time I bought kits. Um, so you have your nine full boxes. This one is in gold foil, and this kit is called Bloom. Instead of the flags that were up here, she now put, puts three quarter boxes down at the bottom. And then this is w what makes me continue to love Sadie, Sadie Sticker's kit, is she has a full functional page. So in my planning style, I use a lot of the boxes and the mini boxes and the scallops um, to layer with. And now she puts a full thing of deco on here as well. And her deco is super cute. And then on this page, you have your headers, and you've got three different sets of headers, a confetti header, printed header, and then just a, a very thin line, two habit trackers, a checkbox, a Monday through Sunday. And for this one, I always use this to track my meals. And then over here, you've got more deco and more checklists down here. And then you have the bottom washi, date covers, and then a additional boxes and you've got some scallop headers over here. So more than enough to do a full spread. And then she's been including this deco page along with some different size boxes like fancy boxes. And then you get six of those as well. And this is included. So um, she used to, I think, have headers as an add on and now um, they're actually included in the kit. So I really like this new format and this is kind of what I'm going to convert over to is 
shops that make this kind of, of a kit. Works well with my style. And then the second kit I bought was called Sunkissed. I live in Arizona, if you don't know that. And so um, we've been in summer mode since mid-March and will be through September. So I do find that I have plenty of time to use summer kits here. Um, less time for winter ones, obviously. So these are the full boxes, quarter boxes down here. This is in rose gold. I'm just kind of same format as the last one. Very neutral. Uh, a lot of summer kits are very bright. I really um, don't like the brighter kits as well. I like the more neutrals. Then body wa bottom washi and then date covers and boxes. And then this is the deco page that comes with it. Beautiful deco and then the boxes down here. So that is my order from Sadie Stickers. I do have another one from she just did bring back the favorites uh, $2 Tuesday, so I did purchase some of the ones that I didn't get to purchase because I was on a no spend for quite some time. Um, so I was able to pick up some of those $2 Tuesdays. So that w probably won't be here until July. And then Coffee Monster Co., she did her anniversary sale back in, I wanna say April. And so I did get one of the ready to ship bundles at that time, which I did in my last haul, but I did order some additional stickers. She had 15% off her shop, um, plus some extra freebies. So this is what I purchased. And I've had this for a while. I was just kind of waiting to do a haul with it. Okay, so this is the freebie that came as part of her anniversary sale. So sampler of ran random stuff. And then this is a, her May <clears throat> freebie. So it must have been in May that I ordered this. Um, just a little checklist and then some icons. And then what I ordered, you um, can order um, her freebies like as a group at the end of the year, which is what I did for 2020. And I use these a lot just as, you know, like to pull things into a spread where I may not have a full sheet of something. And then a lot of times these will go onto their own sheet. And then I find if I use them a lot, then I'll go ahead and order the full sheet. So this, um, this was December's freebie. I won't go through them all, but just so you can kind of have an idea and then I use these in a reusable sticker book and I kind of categorize them and then that way I can pull things a little bit easier. So um, that was one of the listings, so I did order those. Um, there were a lot of the freebies that I missed because I was on my no spend, no sticker spend, I should say. Um, so most of these are replenishments, some of these are new releases. So this is the mini desk emojis. I use these when I mark planning time. Then um, she did bring into her shop, she's a Canadian shop, but she did bring in a 4th of July emojis as well as USA. So I've already used one for Memorial Day, but um, these were ones that aren't on her normal holiday list. She's where she has the year in holidays um, because she is not a US based shop. So I thought that was great that she brought these into her shop so that I can use them coming up. And then what I used, what I purchased was her weightlifting emojis, fountain pen, because I just bought a fountain pen and I'm learning to write with it. Amazon Prime. That was, these go with the kit that I got. Um, this was a pay it forward. So you can order one for yourself and then I ordered one for the next order after mine and she just puts a little thing that your name so that the person who receives it knows who sent it to them and then this one is one of her newer ones it says when a face palm isn't enough because a lot of times on my memory spreads i'm searching for something that just says like this was a bad day so i thought this was really cute 
and then um, on this couples and friends and you can order in any kind of girl with girl, boy with boy, boy and a girl together. I use these to mark when I visit my mom um, so I can quickly see on my calendar the days that um, I went to visit my mom. So I ordered another sheet of those. Technical difficulties. Takeout, so I had used my whole sheet on takeout. Um, even though we are going to restaurants again in Arizona, we still do a lot of takeout. I think we're just kind of in that mode now. Multitasking, date night, because we actually are going to get to go to movies and things like that again. Airplane emojis, because I do have some travel coming up. Construction, we are doing some updates to our house finally. Um, so I wanted to mark those dates. Moving, though I'm not moving, um, I do use these when we did our flooring and things like that, when we move things around the house multiple times. Uh, hopefully my girls are now settled. And then spa day emojis. And then she did bring out a new kit. I love her kits. Um, this one is called the City Life. And these are the full boxes. And then her functional page. And then her bottom washi flags, checklists, some todays. And then she has the Monday through Sunday, some full checklists, habit trackers, boxes. And then um, these are actually like, they're different size headers or different size like washi strips. And the one thing I find with her kits, um, because I do use a lot of boxes, her color waves are very similar from kit to kit. So I just save any leftovers I have and I can pull those into the kit. But she also will bring these out. Um, so to match the kit, City Life sticky notes, City Life emoji headers, and then the City Life washi strip. So these are a little bit thicker and they're good to take up some space um, on my vertical planner. So that is the City Life kit and then the add-ons. This was the journaling card, Sunshine on My Mind. And then on the back um, is where you take your beans off of your cards. And then once you save up a full page, you can redeem them for a sampler. So, um, and this one was signed by Helen. And then I, she did have vellum. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with the vellum yet. But I did order two of the modis and two of, it's like a foiled one. Um, I've been seeing some really cute things in the Facebook group where people have you bought, you know, made sticker planners or inserts or something like that. So, um, and she does limit it to, to a person so that everybody has a chance to purchase it. And then this is the card that she used behind it to kind of keep it safe and secure. So that is my order from Coffee Monster Co. And she is doing a washi pre-sale next week on June 15th through I think the 20th. Um, washi stamps, pencil cases, and something else. One other thing um, that she'll be bringing. Just she'll be doing a pre-order for it. It's unlimited pre-order, and then you get your items in one and a half to three months. And then my next shop is a new to me shop called Paper Muse Crafts. And I saw this kit um, watching, I think it was Just Plans. And I really like her style. It's a little bit um, less decorative than like Plan Mosh Plan or Gathered Plans, um, but very similar. Where she uses foil and kind of accents and um, I saw her do this kit and I wanted a kit for my birthday in July, so I went ahead and ordered this one. So this is the freebie that came with it. And then I ordered the gas tanks in gold. So I can mark my planner when I fill up. And then there's a little construction tools in gold as well. And then this is it. So this is, it's called Bloom, but it's happy birthday to you. And so this is going to be, it's got cakes. So I, to me, it should be called birthday, but, or celebration, but I don't know. 
Um, so these are the full boxes, quarter boxes down here. This is in gold foil, bottom washi, headers. It's a lot of headers. Um, some flags over here. And then I really like her functional page. There's a lot here. There's some deco up here. These are floral kind of headers, but they're different sizing. So they're more like washi strips. Date covers, check boxes, more deco. I love the fact that the date dots are here too, so you can very easily pull that in. And then um, this is the deco page. I think, I believe this one was an add-on. So um, I really, not normally a floral person, but I'm really enjoying cutting up floral and using it to accent boxes. So this is Bloom from Paper Muse Crafts. And then the second kit that I bought is called Hope. Um, now I said earlier that I wasn't a big fan of clip art, but I really like this art. So I went ahead and deviated from my normal only pictures. Um, where flowers bloom, so does Hope. And this is in gold foil. I don't believe you have a choice. I think they all just come in one foil, but I could be wrong. Washi, headers. Kind of the same outline and then again date dots at the bottom so that is my order from paper muse crafts well i don't know that i got i don't think i ordered the deco to this kit no i did not okay so paper muse crafts and then i have two orders from two little bees and this will be the last part of this haul. So um, when she does new releases, it's 15% off for the weekend, basically. So I ordered these two um, during her new release weekends. And then I think I had, I think I had a code from somebody. So not sure which order came in first, but um, so this is the freebie that came with it, and this is in gold. This is the journaling card that came with it. And so, let's see here. This one is called, let me separate these. This is called Summer Stories, and it is in gold. And this one was, I don't believe this one was a new release. I think I used a coupon on this one. And this is her second page. So headers, deco, um, kind of a vertical box or you could switch it to horizontal. Some long flags, short flags. And then this is her functional page. So you've got some deco here, habit tracker, court, third boxes, half boxes, quarter boxes and then the bottom washi headers and date covers. And then this is the one I really wanted to pick up because we are going, it looks like our river cruise is finally a go. So this is called Sail Away. So I'm gonna use this the week that we leave. And this is in gold foil. And then I'll go through these a little bit faster because it's the same format but I love the pinks and the blues and the greens. It's just a really pretty color combination. Bottom washi. And then these two were add-on pages that you could do. So this was a functional page. Um, I think it's a great add-on. More boxes, more deco. You've got more florals up here. Then you've got the fancy boxes and then some scallops. And then I did add on one more page of deco. So I really like um, the additional pages that you can add to this one. And then this kit was called Poppy. Apologize for the dog barking. Um, it's the same one, maybe she's a wildflower. And this is in gold. So these are the colors. And then I did add on the functional page and the deco page as well. And then this one is called Boho Rainbow. 
Now this is very different for me. These colors aren't colors I normally use, but I really liked this format, these color choices. So it's similar to some colors I've used in the past, but I haven't used them for a while. Then the bottom washi is beautiful. And then I did add on the deco and the functional page. So that's everything for my first order. And then I believe this one was my second order. She does new releases, I think every other week. Um, but I can't buy any more kits because I am stocked up now. Okay, in a world full of roses, be a sunflower. I did get the freebie in gold. And then this one is going to be my 4th of July kit. It's called Americana. And I had a hard time choosing which kit I wanted to use for 4th of July. So um, this one is the one I decided on. And then it's a little bit different than the other format, but similar, just a different layout. Lots of boxes. I like the pink and red together with the blue. And then the bottom washi, date covers. And then I did order the functional page as well. I did not order the deco page because it wasn't floral. It was just more deco and I didn't think I would use that. And then this one is called Summertime. And this one, um, I think this one was like on its way out. It was not a new release, but I could be wrong. So Summertime. The bottom washi is so pretty. And then I did order the functional page. The deco page was out of stock when I ordered this. And then my last one was a new released release called Ellie. And I really just, um, I don't have a lot of purple kind of undertones in any of my kits. This one is gold. I just really love the deco on this kit. boxes, bottom washi, functional page, and then the deco page. So that is everything for this haul. Um, I will list all the shops down below and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I have, I love to watch hauls and some go so fast you can't see them and then some are so slow that you're like ready to go to the next one and they're still talking about that sticker so hopefully it's a it's a pace that you guys enjoy if you want me to go faster or slower please let me know down in the comments um, i want to make sure that you can see the item but not feel like it's taking too long so i hope that makes sense i hope you have a great week and i will talk to you soon thanks so much for watching